All right. Here's that necklace that the earring was stuck in. It's pretty gross. I don't know why people like these corded ones, but... It's a really old looking earring. two-tone gold and copper necklace. It's pretty beat up. Oh, it's got like crimping on the one side. It's a silver tone pendant. Almost feels like pewter. on it. It's got a hair though. Hmm. Oh, I'm dropping stuff. There's a linky dink earring. There's that. This is old. It's a Monet. It's a really poorly done bracelet that's pretty stretched out. Put that in for craft lot. Oh, it's a swan pin with a weird ribbon. And just a weird, this feels like plastic, it's super light. It's an enamel earring. Ooh, that is marked with something. Letter A, maybe? Here, let's, let's zoom in together. Maybe it's nothing, I don't know. Let's see, use my loop. I don't know why I didn't remember it from the other room. Just a very simple. That almost looks like it could be sterling. Let's look at that one a little closer. A lot of black beaded stuff in here. kind of, it must be plastic, yeah. Kind of cool looking though. Unique. This is a weird angle to get earrings out of a jar. It's a dangly bit. on the older side. Got some verdigris on it right there. It's like, um, it's cold. I don't know what they call this tiger's eye. Is that what that is? It's whatever it's painted with, it's chipping off. <laughs> Interesting nonetheless. Another corded necklace up next. It's like a choker. A really old one. I don't know what that is. Some sort of snaky design. This cord is... It's so stiff I can't move it. That's what she said. And then there's this... I wouldn't call it wire because it's not really 
bendy. It's just heavier cord, heavier string, plastic beaded black necklace. And a couple of Ziploc bags going over here. This is straight up plastic. Oh, goody. I like it when I get pears. Whoop. This feels like pewter again. It's a little black dangly. Layered piece, so it's got the rings and some pretty grody shape. Go into the give a into a craft lot box. I don't know what people do with what. Here's a I don't know why I wanted to call this an Eiffel Tower. But it's um nearly broken. It's not broken yet, but it's very close to being broken. And just a bangle. It's actually two bangles connected together. So they could be worn separately. What else? Here's an 80s earring. It's very thin. Cheap made. Got one it's a plastic bead earring. Hmm. This one appears to be broken. I think the whole lobster claw <laughs> snapped, but it's long enough not to need a lobster claw. You could put it right over your head, but it's. A really crap metal. Oh, this one feels gross. It's pretty and it's heavy, but it needs a good cleaning. No, oh, it's magnetic. Rachel Lay. The finish just worn right off of that. I'll try and clean it up. See what happens. I mean, it's, other than feeling gross, it's very pretty. Minus the discoloration there. Alright, we'll put that in the maybe pile. There's a shorter black multi strand crap metal and plastic bead necklace. But it's pretty. Got a giant lobster claw. Another cord, but there's the glass beads, glass charms. This is made with love. Again, the cord's very stiff. It's got a barrel clasp. I don't see a name on it, but I'm sure the beads would be reusable. Crafted and it goes. Oh, this is cute. I have a lot of earrings that just sling over like that, so if I have a mate to that one, I'll wear it. I'm going to find jewelry in my bed later. There's another hematite earring. It's pretty. This one is New York and Company. I don't think that means it's silver, but it is silver toned. Let me see. It's one of those ball chain 
weird necklaces. It's tarnished, so maybe it's some part silver. Ooh, I'm not mad about this wood bracelet. What is this? I don't know what that is, but it's cool. Stretch is still good. This chunky bracelet. I like it. I like it, I like it. Here is the worst earring I've ever seen. <laughs> Here's an old clip on. Trying to see. No, you can't even see all of my crap over here. Oh, that plastic bead is beat to heck. But might be able to use that for a craft piece. Don't see any marking on it. Here is a headband with full pearls. I don't see any hair on it. Maybe it hasn't been used. Ooh, my favorite. It's a pin. I love pins. It's like a cloisonne enamel. Red leaves. What does that say? Maybe it's just trees and it doesn't actually say anything. But it kind of looks like letters, like A A I W. Or M M. <laughs> There's this black cord plastic bead tie necklace monstrosity. It's quite long. It's kind of pretty. It's a big faux pearl. Gray. I'm gonna put him on something. He's gonna slide away. Hmm. This is heavy and it feels vintage. It looks vintage, but it's a. Uh, That clasp with these beads, and they're heavy beads. These metal pieces. It's got that kind of Monet backing, or Trafari texturizing to the back, but I don't see marks on it anywhere. Oh, and the clasp comes undone super easily. So there's that. I'm doing it backwards. Hmm. Somebody might like that. I do not. I can't wear heavy necklaces. Like, it hurts. I don't know if I'm just extra sensitive or what. This is broken right there. Oh. Well, I'll just edit that part out. It's not broken, I'm just silly. Uh, there's a big splotch of verdigris on there. I'll throw that in crafting. I don't think anybody was going to want that. Ooh, these are glass beads. And a baseball. But the glass beads will be good for somebody to repurpose. Nope, we're going over our time. I'm going to stop the video here and start back over.